Hey guys, welcome to Surf's Up. This is the real playthrough of it. Uh, if you didn't see before, I had a little surfing block where I tried out a couple surfing games. All of them pretty bad. Except for this one, which is alright, actually. Which yeah. is kind of surprising. It's a movie game, it's based off the, uh... Movie games are known for being not very good. It's based off the Sony animation movie Surf's Up. Came out in like 2007. It was just like a movie for kids. It did okay, I think. I don't Cody know. Cody Maverick was played by our boy Try the Freaking Beef. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who played the rest of the characters. Everyone. Gary Oldman everyone else was played, played by Chicken one Man. person. Yeah. Gary Oldman. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we got some penguins and that dude Jeez. who's got a couple stats. Turning. You know how well they could turn. Freestyle is part of the tricking. Stoke is basically your super mode, and then boost. So does is... your Stoke Stoke uh, stat affect like how long you're in Stoke mode? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'll explain more of those after we get introduced to our first location, Shiverpool. Ooh, it's a pun. <laughs> Surf Center. This is Sal dropping in on a new season of surf, excitement, and style. Big things happening at the bottom of the world as we join surf scout Mike Abramowitz in Shiverpool, Antarctica, as he looks for new talent to join the Reggie Belafonte Big Z Memorial Surf Off. Mike, let me ask you, what are you looking for in Shiverpool? I'm looking for a coat. It's freezing down here. Ha ha ha. I mean in a surfer. Oh, I need the next big thing. Someone with skills to make a serious splash in the world of surfing. And if I can't find that, I'm leaving. Immediately. You heard it straight from the bird's beak. This is Sal on SPEN. Yay. Actually, I do have something to say. That, um, from what I understand in the movie, they got some sportscaster guy to uh -huh. be the... the Sea lion. Yeah, in I don't know if they got any of the actors who played any of the the characters to be yeah. in this. I don't I know. We could it. look up a character list later or something, but yeah, there's kind of your tricks and such. You'll see. Uh, yeah. So freestyle is its own thing on the right thumbstick, and, and Cheers is yeah. Too. And you can drop floaters using the L one. Right. <laughs> and like we said before, Cheers that. That button it, just plays the it plays, cheers. Yeah, it plays the, uh, the... the OV it, it, oh, I thought it played the, uh, intro no song from the Smash TV hit, Cheers. Uh -oh. Yeah. Isn't that the same thing? Didn't Obi Trice do the... Might be. ...soundtrack to the TV show, yeah, Cheers? Yeah, he did all of them. <laughs> yeah, alright. So welcome to Surf's Up. Uh, you know, wave generates, and you get rolling, and then there are these gates that kind of show up. And... Every level has the same goals, okay. the, always the same goals, two tricking goals and one get through X amount of gates goals. And then of course there are those yeah. things. Yeah, like the little like, fire hydrants or something, I They're can't tell. They're not fire hydrants. I don't know, maybe there was a scene in the They're... movie where a penguin pissed on a fire hydrant no, or those, something. No, those, that's a penguin on a surfboard. Oh. There's, it's a movie about penguins surfing. I knew that, I knew that. Alright, so Stoke Mode. You've got the bar in your bottom left, which is like your boost and such, and you fill it up by doing tricks. And when you fill it up, you can go into Stoke Mode and bust out a bunch of like really big, really point high tricks, but only while you're in that mode. Alright, and that's when everything goes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's pretty standard, just kind of normal across the board, and there was me using the boost where the screen kind of turns red. Which, it's incredible that this game is pretty standard, and actually decent, and actually kind of fun, considering A, it's a movie game, and kind of this was this was during that sort of time where movie games weren't that great, not saying they ever really were, but also compared to the other games that I, you know, played through for a little bit, the other surfing games, that all tried to, you know, do their own things in incredible ways, and just bad across the board. Yeah, it's it's interesting. This most movie games tend to be kind of cash grabs, and this one probably is just a cash grab. Yeah. But then the other two, they had like focus on their mechanics and things like that, and none of it really worked. Yeah, which is really surprising. And what is going on in the background there? What do you There's mean? Some interesting draw distance. Like all the like all the popping. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, like, 
maybe this, this, like, well, this game's probably a cash grab, but, like, if I want a platformer game, I'd prefer to play, you know, an actual video game that's built around being a video game first and foremost, not something put out to coincide with a movie. Right. That's probably gonna have it's probably more pretty more bad mechanics like, to it, yeah. but, like, for some reason, I guess when they decided to make a surfing game, they just didn't bother putting in all these complicated things and just... Like, the sports games are the one thing where, you know, making it simple and not trying to do too much can be really... Can, can turn into an actually fun experience. Yeah. So what is this other dude doing? Uh, you see him sometimes and... I, is he just there to... Yeah, he's just riding with you. You're not... Against you're him not, or... Yeah, you're not against him. Wowza! Huh. Okay. Yeah. Have you picked up the plot of the movie based on this game? No, not at all. It's one of those where, like, you can pick any character, so they don't bother having, like, a plot where, you know, it relied on you picking one guy or such. I mean, I mean, you know, there's the main character of the movie as someone you can pick, but you can also pick all these side characters and do the same stuff. Huh. It's just go to levels... Try to beat the point goals and try to beat, try to do the gates. Don't have to do them all at once. Don't have to do all of them. Yeah. Yeah, the game lets you go forward. Kind of only, even if you do the bare minimum, you know, it's not like they were trying to lock you behind walls of content. Oh boy, another cutscene. Oh boy, yeah, every time you go back into a place, they've got another wacky cutscene for you. Shiverpool, some say surfing is a crazy sport. Well, they don't know just how crazy it gets. For summer has come to this part of the Antarctic, and with it have arrived massive rock-hard icebergs. You think surfing among icebergs is crazy? How about ripping at night? Here's what talent scout Mikey Abramowitz had to say on the notion. Look, it's my job to weed through the competition, separate the good from the bad. Icebergs help me do that. It's hard to surf if you break a leg, right? Way to show concern there, Mikey. Icebergs, are they the end of surfing or just the beginning? This is Sal from SPEN. I feel like this game especially knows how to ask the tough questions. You, you know? Think so? Yeah. This is the game that's gonna Yeah, this is the game that's really gonna, you know, make turn, us think. put your brain on overdrive. Also, uh first loading screens I left in unedited, but they're pretty long. Like so really? And you saw at the end of the level you finished mm -hmm. and it started loading. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case auto saving. And then it told you, it asked you if you want to continue or redo the level. And if you select continue, it starts loading again to get you to the menu. Like, yeah, there's one of the things where it kind of shows through. Like, hey guys, let's make a game based on a movie that's coming out. Loading times, what are those? People will buy the game for the penguins. You know, buy the game for the penguins? I bought the game because I just wanted to find a decent surfing game. That's not Kelly Slater, I already did the full game on that. Other mechanics, you can use the boost to smash through obstacles. That gives you points. Is there, like, an objective for smashing down all the all those obstacles? Nope. It's just a thing. It's just smashing do. through obstacles gets you points as well. So, the different types of tricks are, like, you know, a simple short trick, a kind of slightly longer trick, and then some a trick you can hold. Okay. And then the big special tricks you can do in the Stoke mode. Right. Which, I guess you could kind of string them together, but after playing for more than, like, five minutes, you realize that the tricks you hold are the best. Because, oh. like, those seem to get the Stoke meter up a lot right. more. Right, and then you can just do the big special ones. Yeah. Because, like, the big special ones are always worth 3,000. Oh, I see. Yeah. Wowza! Um... Huh. But I mean, like, sometimes, sometimes there's stuff that, you know, they thought about and added in and put in effort. Like, you can kind of move your guy around a bit in the air. Yeah. You know, it's not like locking you in one, tra jump in it, one trajectory. You can kind of move around a bit. It seems like you move around quite a lot, actually. Yeah, you, you go farther than you think you will. So, like, you see something that you want to land on and... 
as I'm shooting past it. Yeah. But I mean, there's multipliers, so... Yeah. It seems like this is the kind of thing where if the set pieces and the levels don't get... That they aren't that interesting, then the game would probably just be really repetitive, but but decent all around. Yeah. Which is, I mean, still better than we can say for the other one. Yeah, which was repetitive and horrible. Tra yeah. Transworld Surf was just weird. I got the hang of it a little bit more as I was recording that video where I glitched through the beach uh -huh. on every level. Um, but then Surfing in Trio was just terrible. But, uh... Yeah, you're talk you talk about set pieces, and actually later on, they do sort of do a little more, you know, they do throw in extra challenges. Oh, okay. And such. I mean, m more in kind of, you know, based on level design. Not Again, not throw in extra goals or extra things you really need to deal with. Right. Just kind of like how a puzzle game might start with you, you know, going in a straight line, and by the end, you have to do this kind of creative thing. Yeah. Um, we did the three games that we happened to have that were surfing related. Yeah. But you brought another game that was surfing related. Yeah. I'm still waiting for it to show up. I bought it like two weeks ago, but mm. I bought Sonny Garcia Surfing as well. Um, you saw like one. Oh. No. Okay. Hey, Arnold. Yeah. Huh. Get it? Fuck you, football head. Oh. Um, but you're waiting for that game. Yeah, I might try it out. Now, honestly, though, like... You saw, like, one video of it, and it looked... I bought that game when I was still trying to find another good or decent surfing game. Uh -huh. And I'd say this is a decent surfing game. Yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're coming here for evolution of gameplay, you've kind of seen it. Mm. Um, but also, now we're backed out, because you can... Slightly customize your character. You unlock like three things per character, which really don't change not that much. Right, they just add accessories on there. Yeah. Like I said, like I said, sometimes you see where they ended up making a competent game, and sometimes you see where they put in bare minimum effort. I mean, like that—that that was kind of bare minimum. But then this, this board creation oh, yeah. thing, I think this is actually really cool. So you're picking your stats basically, but then and the shape of your board, I think. But then from there, you're also you can also customize. Do you do it in this video? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can customize the design on your board and the colors and stuff. So, yeah, the board color, the pattern color, which I mean, you know, that's I think looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's better than just you know here's what here's four boards and here's, here's what they look like and go go yeah, fuck yeah. yourself. Yeah, you're done. Yeah, you can even pick the pattern and stuff. That's kind of neat. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna try to make the most garish board you can? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. You I don't think just... it was garish, but in retrospect, in retrospect, everyone knows that you have horrible design. In retrospect, it was flipping garish. Okay, I gotta say, my personal colors are green and red. I made an emblem back in Halo 2 that had the sickest color palette, but then every game since then, the greens have been all wrong. I'd say this got a pretty good green, but I love that green and red, you know, together. I think that looks pretty cool. It's pretty garish. You're garish. Yeah, I guess I am. All right. Uh, wow, so, along with that, let's check out the other thing you can do, which is called leaf sliding. Oh. I'm sure this was based off a single scene in the film. Probably. Welcome to my first ever video weblog on tube sliding. What is it? Well, if you never met me, then I'm not surprised that you don't know. Tubing is only the latest and greatest activity on Pengu Island, brought to the world by yours truly. I know that you're all about surfing, and that's cool. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing better than coming back from a good session. Unless, of course, you follow it up with a totally rad ride down one of the lava tubes. Well, if you can pull that off, believe me, your reputation will skyrocket. See you at the starting line. <laughs> So on a scale of one to ten, would you fuck that bird? <laughs> uh, I think we're that, all thinking it. I think that question's off the table. What do you mean? It's a I'm bird. I'm going to stop you in your tracks. It's a bird. It's not gonna care. Uh, Maybe it will. Probably I guess will. So, I mean, so if you guys saw the livecom first impressions this of this thing, crazy. I mean, 
you've kind of seen what I've gone through. Again, this is yeah. episode one of me actually playing the full game. So, Leaf Sliding, like I said, haven't seen the movie, but it's probably based off of, like, one scene, maybe two. Maybe at the start of the movie, our boy Shia LaBeouf's character or whatever is, like, trying to leaf slide, and he, like, falls on his fucking face in and front of the girl, and everyone laughs at him. And, and then at the very end of the movie, he has to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has to save... Yeah, save he has to save, I don't know, the girl, the world, whatever. I don't know, by leaf sliding once more. And this time he does it really well, yeah. and he ends up getting, like, the mad way. Yeah, yeah. Like, on the way. Like, on, on the, the way, way not even afterwards. Right, and then, like, during the, during the credits, you can just see this really gratuitous <laughs> sex yeah, scene I mean, between Yeah, I mean, Surf's Up was rated, not rated, you know? <laughs> the unrated version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, in Leaf Sliding, you're basically going down an obstacle course. And right. these things along the way, which I'm avoiding, if you hit them, you know, you get stopped for a teeny little bit. What I'm collecting are, I guess, like, hourglasses, which freeze the timer oh, on see. the top for a little bit. And uh, so, I mean, you have to get down it in in less than a minute and a half, according to the timer up there. Right. So, you know, you freeze that. And, uh, wow. It's just the rocks blast apart when you yeah. smash your face into it. I saw it with my own two eyes, but I Who are you laughing to? Actually, come to think of it, that's not the character I'm using in the main thing. I think that's straight up the main character. No. No, that was that was, was the it? guy you were using, I think. I thought my yeah, no, my guy has more hair, like over his eyes and stuff. It's not hair, those are feathers. Well you know what I mean. Do I though? Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Do you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? We'll see. Alright, let's never do that again. Alright, so that was First episode of Surf's Up, showing off Shiverpool, showing off character and board customization, showing off the first leaf sliding event. Showing shit off. Oh shit, after this we're going to Pango so South. Noot, noot. Yeah.